Yo everyone, what's going on today? I'm gonna to show you how to set up some of these GGD kits in Reaper. Now it's really, really simple, but I do understand that when you're a new user, you've just bought these GGD kits, you've bought Architects, you've bought OKW Metal, Modern Massive, you just wanna get them going, you might not know too much of the computer side of things, that's totally fine. People don't wanna admit it, but we've all been there, we've all fired up these drum programs, things haven't worked, and you've had to like scour around for some information. So I'm gonna try and keep this uh, quick, but clear and concise. So let's not waste any more time, let's go straight into it. All right, so I've just fired up a new session of Reaper, a blank template. Yours might look a tiny bit different. I think I've got a skin running on here, but fundamentally it's exactly the same. So I just wanna right click anywhere here and go insert virtual instrument. Now you wanna insert contact because all the instruments live inside contact. So if you don't have contact, you have to download native access installer and install contact, and then it should be available here. I've got you covered from here on, you just need to make sure it's opening up in Reaper. So look, I've got two different versions here. I'm just gonna open the VSTi3. It's gonna give you a pop-up, just hit yes every time. We want all these multi-tracks. We'll clean this up later, but for now, I wanna see all that stuff there. So let's start with the OKW Metal Kit. I'm gonna fire it up. Now this moment in time is exactly where everybody gets disillusioned. You finally got everything going, you've installed it. You start hitting some things and you're not getting any sound. And you're like, why is this so hard? Why is this so confusing? It's just the way the contact is. It's actually really simple, but you just gotta get your head around it. Once you do it once or twice, you'll totally be set. So if we look down here to contacts mixer, whenever I click something, you can see the sound is trying to play, but nothing's coming out. And that's because you can see it's not routed to any channels. You just need to route it to channel one and two. That pop-up always happens, that's totally fine. And now you're gonna get some sounds. I'm gonna to go to the groove player and just chuck on some grooves. Now, if we look at Reaper, everything is being routed to this first track. Now, if you just want some basic drums and you don't care about multi-out or anything, you can delete all of these tracks and you're good to go. You can just have the contact track, which has your midis, and then you can have a single stereo output track there. You're done, super simple. But most of us want a little bit more flexibility and we wanna be able to do more with the tracks. So we wanna do multi-out routing. So the next thing to do is change the stereo dropdown to multi-out advanced. And now in the contact mixer, I can see there's more sounds going on. It's spread across multiple tracks, but just like what happened before, there's no sound being routed to them. So I'm gonna to have to go through all of these and just fill them out really quickly. It's a little bit tedious, and I'm probably gonna speed up this video, but I'm just gonna go put two there, put three here. I'm just gonna do 12 of them. I probably don't need 12, but I just, my brain goes onto autopilot and I'll just fill out all 12. That literally took me like 20, 30 seconds to set up. So now let's play the kit and see how everything looks. We can once again hear all the full sounds of the kit and I can see it's multing outing. It's multing out inside of contact. And when I look in Reaper, it's multing out in Reaper as well. That, we've done 90% of it now. We're just gonna do a little bit of cleanup. Now, one of the little tricks with OKW is if I bring up the mixer here, I can see the kick is going to track one, the snare is going to track two and so forth and so on. Uh, what I find interesting is they put the overhead mic and the room mic to seven. Don't like that. Uh, what they also do is this reverb track, so you can change the reverb. That reverb track automatically goes to track one. It's not obvious at all here because kick is going to track one. So by default, the reverb and the kick is going to track one, which we don't want that to happen at all. So what I would encourage you to do is to go to the kick and just start from track two onwards. So two three, four, it's so tough to count, five, six, seven. I wanna split the overhead, so we'll send the overhead to eight and the room to nine. So now I'll get rid of the mixer. See how there's some sound going to track one? That's the reverb track, like I said. So even though I've started the kick from one and the snare, sorry, I've started the kick from two and the snare on three, so the kick is on two, which is here and the snare is on three, which is here. We can see there's still audio information going to track one because that's the reverb track. All right, so at this point in time, you've got everything routed in contact. 
Now you can come over to contact and start uh, naming things here. Some people like to do that, but I honestly never stare at the contact mixer. I only use the mixer inside of Reaper. But if you want to be like super meticulous, you can name things in here, but really you don't need to. I would just encourage you to rename all the tracks at this point. So we know the reverb's going here. Uh, and I'm just glancing at the mixer. And I know it goes kick onwards, so kick. I might just speed this up. You don't need to see me renaming everything. All right, so everything is now named inside of Reaper. Uh, all your routings are totally done. This process honestly takes like less than two minutes when you do things from scratch and you know what you're doing. <clears throat> but let's go into the groove player. Let's drop in a groove. I've got some of the Ali Richardson grooves. We can see them coming up on all the multi-tracks. Another little bonus tip while we're here, because this confuses people as well, you would think you could just drag this MIDI onto the contact thing, but you can see as you drag it, nothing drags. You have to go from this export, so you have to hold this export button and drag it out like that. These are all little idiosyncrasies with contact, and if GGD ever moved away from contact, these sort of things would be fixed. I wish they'd bring out their own player, but you know, at this point in time, we just gotta work with this. So I'm just gonna close the contact GUI and pretend I've got a session going on here. You know, we can just play this MIDI and watch it all fire off on these tracks. That's exactly how you want to have everything set up. <clears throat> now you're going to have all these excess, uh, all these excess tracks here. At this point in time, uh, for simplicity's sake, especially if you're just learning from scratch here from this video, just delete these tracks. You really don't need them. You might need them for some other scenarios, but for all intents and purposes, there's all your tracks good to go. If you just want to solo something, solo the kick. You want to just get that reverb in there. Add in the snare. You, my friend, are multi-outed and ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to delete all of this. Let's just remove it. And let's do the modern and massive. It's the same thing, but there's a little bit extra to go through. Same process. Modern and massive, pull it up. The same thing, the kit's loaded. I click things, nothing's working. Now straight away, I know I don't want a stereo. I want multi out advanced. So let's just go straight away for that. And unfortunately, we just got to set up the mixer side of things in contact. So I'm gonna go through and once again, do 12 of these and we'll see how we go. All right, so I've just routed 12 of these. So we can see we're getting sounds. The reason why I said 12 and why I wanted to stop here for a second is if we go through all the tracks, I can see the kick <clears throat> is being sent to 1, 2, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's actually more mics than 12, there's 14. So I'm just gonna keep going. I'll do 13 and 14. And that is what this kit needs. This kit needs 14. Um, the reason why I said 12 is because I just didn't know the exact number. I thought it might've been somewhere between 12 and 14, but 14 is what it is. And we are good to go. So we can see the full routings there. Now Modern Massive is a much more expansive library than the OKW kits. Like you can come here and you can send none of the kick to the room mics, you can pull that level down, you can do all sorts of different things. But if you just want to stick to the default routings, we just want to take these numbers and um, rename the tracks in Reaper to what these numbers represent. So track one is gonna be the kick, or we can, we can call it exactly the same thing. So kick sum, track two is kick sub. Now it takes a bit of time. I really, uh, I would encourage you that once you've set this up, do save yourself a template. And it's not because it's hard or anything. It's just that you don't wanna pull up Reaper every time and just spend five minutes doing the exact same thing over and over again. But the whole point of learning this is that once you do it, if you're in a pinch and you need to fire something up, it only takes three, three to five minutes, really. No hassle at all. So I'm gonna go through these, name them all, and we'll take a look at it when it's done. All right, cool, so everything is named. Let's drop in one of the Ali Richardson middies. Look at all these tracks firing off in all their glory. 
We can just solo like the room far track. Bringing the room close. So that's how all the multi-tracks are going. Um, all, all, all the rest of these tracks you really don't need. So once again, I'm just gonna clean up and remove these. And if, you, if you're not an advanced Reaper user, I'm holding down control and using the mouse wheel to roll up and down. And that just resizes all the tracks there. I like to do that all the time. So yeah, here's all of our tracks. Our multi-out routing really takes no time at all. A couple minutes at most. Just save this, save project as, just save it as a modern massive template or OKW template. Fire it up, get it all going from scratch. Super easy stuff. No need to rely on anyone else. Just do it yourself, upskill. Easy, easy, easy. Now, if you have any questions with routing, uh, if you're in Pickle, or you're stuck, or you have a question about anything, just drop it in the comments below. I'll try and help you out as best I can. I might be doing some more videos on some more advanced routing because, you know, obviously when you're recording music, you want to record more than drums. You probably got some guitar, bass, vocals going on. So there's definitely some more advanced routings. This is sort of the fundamentals. I always like to get the drums going first. Once I have the drums locked in, I usually bring in the bass and the guitars and then anything else on top of that. So there's definitely some more advanced routings with a full mix going on. But just to get you going with the GGD kits in Reaper, this is it. Easy stuff. You got it going. Any questions, drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.